Hello and welcome to Ukramedia.com. My name is Sergey Praknevsky and today's daily tip is how to create a hover button effect using expressions in After Effects. All right, so we are in After Effects and let me show you what we're gonna create today. So if I take this cursor and hover over my button, watch what happens. So the shape of my cursor did change and also the color of my button. So right here, it's an arrow. And then if I move it over the button, it changes into a hand. And then if I move it back, the color is blue. And then if I move it over, it's red. So I'm gonna show you how to set this up using expressions in After Effects. So here's what I have for this setup. I have this source text, which I will use for the expressions portion. I can show you visually what I'm doing with the expressions. And then I have this control null. And this control null controls both of these cursors. So both arrow and hand are parented to this control null. So if I move it around, you can see that that is happening. And then we have this click here text and the shape of our button here. So I'm gonna alt click on the stopwatch of my source text here. And I'm gonna define some variables in here. So I'm gonna say point, you're gonna be the position of this control. And then I'm gonna define my shape. And that's gonna be our shape here of the button here. Okay, so next I'm gonna use the sample image expression. So I'm gonna say shape period sample image. And then inside here, we're gonna define our point. And then the range, we need to define that. So I'm gonna say the sample is gonna be between 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So watch what happens. So right now we have four different numbers. They're all zeros. But as soon as I move my, my null here, and if I hover over my shape, you can tell that everything has changed. So we have different numbers, but the last one went from zero to one. So that's the one I'm after for, and I'm pretty sure that's alpha channel. So we have zero and then one. So how do I get only this last number? So I'm gonna grab it by using index. So I'm gonna say, give me the index number three, because in After Effects, we count our index starting at zero. So it's zero, one, two, and then three. So inside these square brackets, I'm gonna say three. And if I let go, you can see that it's giving me that one. So if I pull away, it's giving me zero, one. So that's exactly what I'm after for here. But I wanna convert that one to 100. So instead of going from zero to one, I wanna go from zero to 100. So I'm gonna give it a variable here. I'm gonna say A, you're gonna equal to this expression. Next, I'm gonna do a linear expression. So I'm gonna say linear. And then in my parentheses, I'm gonna say A. I want the number from variable A starting at zero to one. And when it's zero, I want it to be zero. And when it's one, I want it to be 100. So if I let go, right now I'm getting zero. But if I hover over my button here, it went from zero to 100. So that's exactly what I want. Next, I'm gonna select this and then copy the text. And I'm gonna collapse this down, get rid of this for right now. And I'm going to go inside my arrow here. And I'm gonna select that and hit T to reveal the opacity. Alt click on the stopwatch to create an expression and then I'll paste that expression inside here. So if I let go, you can see that my arrow is here, but when I pull it away, it disappears. So we need to reverse that effect. So I want the arrow to be visible here. And when it goes over my button, I want it to disappear. So to do that, I'm just gonna change this zero to 100 and 100 to zero. Okay, so now we see this arrow and then when we hover over it, it disappears. So that's good. So next, I'm going to select my mouse hand and hit T to reveal the opacity. And then I'll click on the stopwatch to activate the expression. And we're gonna paste the expression in here again. And that one actually does exactly what I want. So it disappeared when I'm not hovering over the shape. But if I go over the shape, it kind of switches. So the arrow goes away and this hand appears. So that's exactly what I want. Now let's work on changing the color of the shape. And to do that, we're gonna go and select this original shape first and then do control D to duplicate it. And I'm gonna change the name of it to BG for background. So I don't wanna use the original shape. I only wanna use that for the sample image. So I don't wanna touch it. And I'm gonna change the color on this background shape here. So I'm gonna go into effects and presets and grab this fill and then just drop it over the top. And in here, we're gonna change the color to, I'm gonna uncheck that for a second, just copy this color and then move it to something like maybe this. So we have this blue, and then we want to basically switch between red and blue, okay? So I'm gonna select this shape right here and then hit E to reveal the effects. And then I'm gonna go inside here and then select this opacity, hit S twice to solo it. And I'm gonna alt click on stopwatch and just paste our expression inside there. And that's pretty much it. So now if I drag my arrow, you can see that 
nothing is happening but if I hover over my button not only does the shape change but also the color of our button all right thank you so much for watching this quick tip I really hope you found it useful and if you have make sure you like this video share it subscribe to our YouTube channel follow us on social media and if you would like to have the project file of this tutorial you can download it at ukramedia.com slash tip 50 but until next time my name is Sergey Proknevsky and this is ukramedia.com